Create a new driver or worker uploaded from a DigiPost Pro. When a new driver downloads their card, or you upload a new vehicle from your DigiVU into a DigiPost Pro, you do not complete the record for TacoMaster on the DigiPost Pro device. The card file is uploaded to the TacoMaster servers, but is not added to your database until you have assigned the driver or vehicle the correct detail. If you log into the TacoMaster website, you will see a menu item, Uploads, with a number. This means you have remotely downloaded some data and you can now assign the records correctly. Click on Uploads. You now have a list of uploads requiring attention. Choose a driver you wish to allocate. Click on Assign Driver. If a driver already exists, you may be able to apply the data to the existing driver. This would be if a driver had always driven analogue vehicles, but now has a digital card. Most commonly, you now click on Create New Driver. The Add New Worker screen is now shown. Firstly, enter the driver's personal details. Any field marked with an asterisk is an optional field. Some of the information is taken from the driver card. Driver's name and date of birth, mainly. The site the driver operates from. This is required, although this will default to the site the DigiPost Pro is assigned to. The department that the driver belongs to, if applicable. The supervisor who looks after them. This is the TacoMaster user. The employee number, if you use these from a payroll system, etc. Make sure you change the driver from permanent to agency or casual if required. You may also enter a language you require the driver's infringement letters to be printed in. Now fill in the working habits. The first four fields must be allocated correctly and you cannot add a worker without completing these fields. If the driver has downloaded a digital card, then he or she is almost certainly a mobile worker, so click yes to is this worker mobile? Does this worker mainly work nights? Can be set to no, even if the driver does work some nights. Allow the night hours agreement to automatically determine a night shift. Enter the length of the working time reference period, generally 17 or 26 weeks. The start of the fixed reference period, leave blank for a rolling or continuous reference period. In the night hours agreement box, you can enter an amount of hours the driver may work overnight, if different from the standard 10 or your own company standard. If your worker or driver is a night worker, you can change the start of day so when you view the working time's day view from the worker calendar, the driver's shift is shown. Leave a zero if you are unsure. You do not need to enter the driver's start time if they start at 6am. It is only really required if the driver works over midnight. In employment start date, Enter a date the driver started working for you. Entering this date will then allow you to view only data where a driver has worked for your company. You do not enter an employment finish date at this point. If the driver drives the same analog vehicle, enter a preferred vehicle. You may enter a digital vehicle, but it will be ignored. Enter a default agency if the driver is an agency driver and works predominantly for the same agency. If your company uses the TacoMaster market sector and contract section of the system, then you may be required to enter the contract the driver works for. Please ask your manager or supervisor if you are unsure. Click Add Worker. Your driver will now be added to the system, and all subsequent downloads will automatically be added to your database.